Hello, oh, 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 folks, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. I was just sitting around. I, f I feel like weirdly comforted, like, you know, sitting around in, like, Limsel or Mincel or wherever, and just, like, w watching, seeing if Anne sells. But uh, I saw a. It was a bit late, but I saw a notification that a S rank creature had turned up. Right here. And, um. It was, I was a little late in seeing it. But... Uh, my, oh, I don't see it. But there's people still loitering around. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on. It was an S rank, and so I definitely want to, you know, throw a spear at that. But yeah, it seems like I missed it. If barely. Uh, if I hadn't been distracted, I might have gotten here on time. Well, some rivets have sold. It, uh, it was... Oh, they didn't actually say what creature it was, just that it was here. Alright. Don't see it, it's not here. Well, that's depressing. I was really hoping I'll get to fight it. I was figuring it wasn't too likely, given I was already late to begin with. And then I was seeing advice saying that people, typically people who are linking, you know, this and chat, aren't the ones who initially found it, so the creature could already be. You know, it's, you know, it's someone else probably who found it already, you know. Maybe, you know, they might have even engaged it or what have you. Hmm. Oh well. So immense. Oh, that's creepy. Here, go ahead and stop for a sec. Oh, we will, folks, and I'm back. Was a little bit. Uh, kind of missing out on the other thing that lost my momentum in playing. I kind of just rushed into it because I wanted to try and uh, catch the uh, rare. Ooh, yay, D sold. Things are actually selling. It's uncomfortable. So, um, some rivets actually did sell, and I don't think I even lowered them. Also, these sold. And that's even at the higher price. I had the initial batch that sold at whatever, then I had the, the higher thing. Also, I do apologize for how goddamn tired I was at the uh, end uh, during the last set. Was, uh, ooh, finally something sold for Talgar. Um, also, um. Uh, I should have given up a lot sooner, but it was just like, no, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And I 
they lost. And it seems like all the outgoat leather I had is after selling off now. So, um, I could try and make some more if it's economically viable. Just like seeing all the stuff, you know, stack uh, all the money revealed first before I just take it, you know, start taking it all down. Really wish there was a more efficient way of doing this. This system's rather clunky and whatnot. Well, I suppose it's not clunky, it's just you have to go through so many menus, it's. It's a little frustrating. Also, today, the last episode um, of the comeback uh, um, came out. Uh, that have edited so far came out. The Tower of Endless Torment was its private subtitle. Uh, it's the when the free, the free days ran out. That time. If they ran out mid recording. Okay. Economic viability. Uh, letter working. Toad. Okay, definitely. Sell for a thousand six hundred. This name seems familiar. Um, what do I need? So why am I doing that? Uh, woman. No, I, it's not economic. Econ I think they might have contacted me previously. Um. So while I bought some Gigantan Toad skin, I already have some Woman actually. And I think I might have bought it at a lower price. And given that this is... Yeah, I can, I can sell these 16 bits, but that's it. It's just I'm trying to factor in the shard cost, and I'm assuming that at 200, uh, I inherently have to put... Ignoring even the cost of these two. I This is around, I would say, like 200. Then factoring in this is another 200. That's four, you know... Then thi this... Yeah, if I was to actually tr try and buy any more Gigantan Toad skin, I would need to sell for over a thousand. But since this went up for like two pence, I, you know, I can just finally sell this and make a fair bit of profit. Okay, I'm curious. I might be able to sell water cordials at an okay price. You get three apiece, and if they go for 
uh, even 500. Might work. No, I pr probably wouldn't be able to. But Trillium, which is an ore, and wow. Okay, 350. We'll remember it as Das. Plus 80, and back up to 30, that's 4, uh, yeah, 430, plus 14, okay, now how many are the shards? So, 444, uh, the crystals, I should say, I don't know what's with these random well parts. Demand one. Hmm. Um, water crystal. Four forty four. So uh, four forty four. Four. Uh, it's five. Four forty four plus fifty eight. We'll put fifty in first, that'll make it four ninety four. Then four goes in making it four ninety eight. Then another four goes in making it five oh two. Five oh two Yeah, 502 plus 721. Okay, 721. I'd have to sell it for at least 800 to make a profit. Could I even justify that? aren't too popular of an item. They'll sell eventually, it seems, but... They just really aren't that much that popular of an item. Oh, and relics. I was just taking the... In yeah, actually, no, I would have to sell for over a thousand. I was just going at the like price of like one of these crystals. Uh, like, the one of each. But this needs two and this needs three. So no, border cordials, no way profitable. Timber I did saw up sold. But again that was at a loss. It's not really something you want to be doing. And it's not even at a loss shard wise, it was at a loss um, even from the raw material itself.
trying to find something here that I could tr make and auction off, you know, try and profit. But. I'm not saying anything that I can honestly justify. And the collectability, the collectibles thing was introduced in Heaven's Word. Keeps looking like a spider from the distance. Actually, wait. So, folks, in total, adder. Forgot about the owl goat. Price and aluminum is way too high. I keep hitting those pings and it keeps throwing me the hell off. Don't know what, you know, I don't know what's going on. I just wanted to sit down and make something and try and auction it, but I have no idea what I could even do, you know? You know what, let's go make some chamomile tea. Chamomile tea. make honey first. Trying to can buy it from somewhere, but fuck if I know. Oh, actually, wait. For once, my apartment's gonna come in handy.
Oh, and actually, while I'm here, I could stable my um, mount. Hey, why entrust the sweeping of, chalk of chocobo dung to a kindless pleb with a sick wife and two starving children when you can toss a big witch broom into your personal stables and be done? Twenty thousand. Hey. Here now. Just need to figure out who the hell has it. Oh no, wait. I go this way. I was actually near an NPC that could have sold it to me, probably. Uh, the Uminson version of this person. Yep. Now, mineral. Let us. Um. This is the merchant over here. Probably deal with giving them better gear, but. Eh, right now I'm just worried about the. Um, main hand and off hand. Alright, this is um, superior. Okay, 98. And with that, I'm going to stop for a bit. Pfft, my god. You'd, like, immediately make three high cup. The high quality. Three cups of high quality chamomile tea. Oh, in good taste. Two. Okay, that outfit, the meat, when they spawned in, I couldn't really make out what the, they were wearing, this person. So all I could see was the fucking um, Bloodborne outfit. With the tattered tricorn and all this. I, seriously, I'd wear it if I, could, if I thought I could get away with it, but I can't. Christ, now I have six cups of high quality chamomile tea. So, anyway. BRB, folks. BRB. And literally, as I ended it that there, I got my ninth cup. 
these are popping up a shocking amount right now. Twelfth. Still, I don't expect these to actually go for anything. I made this because I remember... I picked this because I remember grabbing these at some stage. And thinking that it was an easy enough thing to just spam out, you know? I would hate to have to try and wave this up. Because I would have to worry about waves, like, with the armor thing again. And that was tedious as hell. Though I suppose at least one thing going for it is that at least everyone would stack. I wouldn't have the inventory space issue. But, anyway. I'm gonna stop disappear for a sec. Hello, hello, folks, and I'm back. Alright, let's continue. Uh, I had to stop and go get my gear repaired, which I'll do again now. But I have made... 54 high quality cups of chamomile. Probably gonna go bad by the time someone gets by it, but god damn will they have a, you know, sticker saying so. <sighs> Christ, the amount of resources you need. Ooh. The uh, chocobo feed. An artichoke like flower found uh, found growing on a majority of the Chaldeans? Well, too bitter for most people's tastes, chocobos are known to enjoy the flavor, and thus the meaty buds are often used as fodder for the animals. Excellent speed. Attack potency. After your screens, there's no other verdure, uh, verdure, uh, verdure, uh, a race chocobo would rather sink the beak into. Sound of food, enmity, helped, healing magic potency, XP earned. Hmm. Me too, I remember seeing a guide on what to do, uh, on all that, and need to look that up. Hey, chicken stock might might be a good thing to make. Just just spam down. Um, get chicken breast here. That's all I can get. Christ, I hate culinarian. Just like the amount of resources you need to find. The, the guy in the apartment has, I need to go check. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what I was looking for.
it's level 24. Let's make some. I kind of overbought, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Just dramatic gestures. It's fun. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pause this here for a bit. Ooh, yay, high quality stuff. I'm not sure if this will make me any degree of cash, but it wasn't too expensive to make, so. Oh well, on the shard front. Hey, folks, and I'm back. Um, yeah, uh, I had to stop him there quickly because everything broke, including his skillet and his knife. He was trying to cook chicken stock with just his top. So, yeah, that kind of is a terrible look. Calm down, drum. Let's finish this off. But, yeah, the stuff was still going. Again, I went a little balls deep here. But I'm just glad to be able to level up, to level this up a bit further. A crisp acorn made of iron. Uh, sorry, a crisp cookie made with uh, a crisp cookie made with iron acorn paste. A favorite of the uh, Quirin. Kai Quirin. Oh, this is needs chicken stock. Hmm. Buy some more uh, chicken stock ingredients. It's easiest to go with this. Should still give fine XP too. And I'm level 30 now. So. Can only make a bit more till I run out of fire shards, so. We'll do just a little more. So, BRB. Hey, folks. That time went by quite quickly. And I blame the Yorbeat. I keep going back to uh, Steppen's songs. And uh, Preserved Vampire. That's a good one. Uh, I think there's another one as well, but my mind is blanking. Um, I did more, uh, yeah, there's stuff here. I just clicked out of it thinking, like, I was curious how much I'd, of these I'd left. And, like, maybe I really should look and see if I can't... Wait, is there already so in this? Looks like there is. Yeah, it's... Hmm. Maybe flower pots, you don't get to... Soil benefit. Hmm. Alright, let us head to Alda. Let's 
Save my picture. Uh, okay, I'll hold the eight here, here. Board. Sometimes weird smut comes on my timeline, and, and it's just like, okay, I didn't need to see that. Thankfully, not quite as bad as this stuff I've been, you know, you know, referring to previously. But um, bad enough, o awkward enough. Thankfully, it's you know, just all drawn shit, but still, it's. Awkward to see. Okay, I don't really have much of either left. Um, either these, uh, which is a pity, but whatever. Alright. I want to get these apps to go to Alda. Uh, maybe the guy in my apartment has them. I'll have to go check. Uh, the the new WoW expansion's been um, announced. Not too uh, interested. I'm just BFA and other stuff falling out in the guilds, random garbage. Just kind of taking the wind out of me with WoW. I'm a little into into Shadowlands, but uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not too pushed. Not as excited as as I felt, you know, when BFA was coming out. And yeah, apparently um, we are going down to level sixty. And once you, when you start off, you choose which expansion you want to level through, and then that will get you to around fifty, and then from fifty to sixty, Shadowlands. People were also po poking fun at Blizzard because Final Fantasy fourteen just came out with uh, Shadowbringer, and now they're coming out with their Shadowlands. And Blizzard insistently says, oh, we don't, you know, coincide things to compete with, you know, other MMOs and whatnot. But they clearly do. They were releasing, like, updates. To, like, uh, I think Broken Shore got released around the same time as some big uh, Final Fantasy XIV patch. So it could be just more of that. Mists of Tirna Skrita? I don't know. Taking a guess because it looks vaguely Irishy. Tirna. Well, 
Well, apparently there's a zone called the Maw. And it's meant to be, um... Have lessons from WoW Classic. Which I wonder... What that means. There's also apparently Covenants. Sorry, enough about the BFA. Yeah, they are doing a return to, uh, you know, Witch King stuff in it. There was rumors about it, but um, rumors are rumors. So, anyway. Uh, again, apologies for getting distracted. I was just, like, looking through it, and it's like, uh, Shadowlands Raid? What? You know, just threw me. Um, uh, fine, we're going to see inside. Should just head here in the first place. I need to go catch up on, um... Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I need to go catch up on, um... You know, the WoW, WoW 8.25, uh, 8.2.5 stuff, and why not? Um, to be honest, I think I've even fallen behind on 8.2 content. Actually, no, there's no thinking about it, I really did. There's uh, apparently a lot after happening. But like I said, I just haven't been, between, you know, BFA being shit and the guildish drama and all that, I've just no interest. Actually, I'm thinking I might go leave the guild. Um, I'm going to talk to one guy first, so. Okay. Who the fuck sells the rye wheat? Because I want to save as many shards as I can. Rye wheat FF14. Okay, right, flower. Whatever. I don't care. Who the fuck sells it? Little John the Whistling Milk. Oh, Little John. They're a merchant there. Uh, Old Gardenia. Would not have, ex have expected that. Sorry again, I'm just getting distracted by this because uh, you know I'm kind of curious, but anyway, yeah, I should focus on what I'm doing. Uh, it's old. That's old Gardenia. There, I have to... Okay. There. If I head here, it's just around the corner. But yeah, it's sorry, it's sorry, I'm not sure if I segued well into that, but apparently at BlizzCon, the new thing was announced. 
new WoW rate, a new WoW expansion was announced, Shadowlands, and there's all tons of information coming out about it. But I'm not too pushed as a way to about WoW. But more into this. Even if I'm kind of going about this weirdly, I'm really dragging out the main campaign of this to get to do a ton of side shit. At least now you don't have to worry about failure. Makes my plan, plan uh, my previous idea of, you know, spamming this to gain I the insight uh, or the inner quiet, you know, you know, less point, you know, less, well, relatively pointless. The failure rate on the other, t previously made, um, was just too great. It was just too great. Even if you were getting to d use it more than the other one, the failure rate was so high it didn't matter. But now, it's guaranteed. So, hmm. I think I'm segueing right here into things. It probably feels I like just like hopped into the topic and didn't express myself right. But uh, I, you know, there's been a crafting change, and now there's no failures anymore. And I remember the original plan was to try and bring up inner quite as much as possible to use some other ability, and to do that, I was using basic touch because I could spam it more. But the failure rate was just so high, it, it kind of counteracted it. And you, on some level, you ended in a worse position than you began with. But, um, now it doesn't matter. It's all good. It's pretty fantastic. So, we'll do 43 more cookies. I do feel like maybe I should go get back to WoW. But I should probably see this through first. You know, get more stuff here done. Though that being said, you know, just l l thinking about it, I may actually have enough content for 2020 as it stands. Maybe even beyond. Uh, if I get into 2021, that's going to be silly. But I think me being able to upload as much as possible now is a good thing because soon there's going to be an update where YouTube completely shits the bed and makes it so you can only upload one video at a time. Like, you can, say, upload a video, and while that's uploading, have another one going up. But, you ha like, currently, you can select, like, highlight 50 videos, and there you upload them. And then you're going through, and there's, like, the 50 videos are on their list, and you can go through each one on the same page. But with the new system, you... select a singular video, you have to go through three pages of stuff while you're trying to upload it. It's what the original stuff that's currently there and some extra. And then when that's done, you can go work on the next one. And there's also a lag at the start of each time you're doing this, after you selected a video. And that lag is roughly... Christ. Uh, the amount of high-quality ones, they're a lot more generous. Uh, the la lag is roughly the same length as you know, when you're uploading 50 videos, or whatever, under the current system. But it's for each one. The system is immensely flawed, and it's very much aimed at YouTubers that upload a singular video a day, and not someone like me that may upload a hundred videos at a time. Because I don't upload enough, and, you know, why not? difficult for me to, since I now need to edit each video, it's difficult for me to upload frequently, because, uh, th just the spacing issues, the, uh, plus I, you know, I have difficulties deleting footage, I can't just see, like, yeah, that's uploaded, that's uploaded, I have to check and the OCD kicks in, it's, uh, Basically, I end up with huge backlogs of footage to upload, and it ends up no good for anyone. Um, but yeah, this new system is just biting me in the ass. Um, but yeah, the more I get uploaded now, the better. I need to go get some Witcher uploaded, and if I can get that finished, um, 
then I can get in like two series thereafter. Uh, Part of Exile Betrayal and Grim Dawn, my second run through with my Ritualist. I am looking for another website to go to, but there's no real, real option right now. There's one, one where you have to seed videos, I can't remember what that's called. One person was suggesting to use WordPress, but trying to set up a WordPress page for each video when I do so many will be tedious, even more so than YouTube's upcoming system. Um, there's uh, there's websites with no um, like automated playlists. I'm not sure if they're scheduling. There's like as much as YouTube is like self mutilating and cutting bits of itself off. It's still more put together than some webs uh, some of their competitors out there. Like I know one competitor. Um, I was once with Maker. I was kicked out eventually because I just didn't have enough high enough views or subs or something. They never said why, or if they or they did and I just forgot. One or the other doesn't really matter. I kind of joined and never did. And um, if you try to upload through their thing, um, you have to have a thumbnail. And I think there's another website like that as well. Um, another compet YouTube competitor like that. Um, so. Yeah. I'm really hoping something comes along. People always reference like, Pornhub trying to get become a competitor and, you know, it could be a contender. And I really hope so. Depending on how Pornhub sets their things up, I may actually just end up migrating over there. The one issue is transferring all these videos over, especially if I have a huge backlog going into 20 whatever. The only thing I could hope is I could have like an automated process set up to carry over the videos. I actually made, remember making a passing comment before that I do stand by. That if I ever, you know, had a cash flow, uh, I actually had, uh, you know, made it big on videos or, you know, how if I got, you know, if I... <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I should make that joke. People might take it seriously. I know, you know, if I actually was making money in one shape or form, um, I would um, hire someone rather generously to uh, upload videos. And then not as in the hiring would be generous, as in I was saying 20 quid, you know. Uh, I think at the time I was just throwing out a figure, just because just of how much the action pissed, doing it pissed me off. But it was like 20 quid an hour or something, which is ridiculous money. But that's just how painful and tedious and eye-gougingly painful the work is. Especially if, you know, YouTube's after making it worse. Uh, but yeah, basically it's making me all, all more tempted towards that. Uh, sadly, I wouldn't have the finances for that. I'm not even sure how they could do it uh, remotely. But ma I'd imagine they wouldn't. They'd have to do it here. I know it'd have to be someone I would trust. And you know, there's so many issues with it. But still, it's actually a fucking tempting idea to me right now. Like, my God, you know, just having someone else do it, even if I have to, you know, throw wads of cash at them, that's fine. Just stop having someone else do it. Oh, God. That'd be beautiful. Hmm, this isn't a bad thing to spam out. Hmm, could be done too. Mayhaps. But, um, yeah, basically, yeah, it's actually really tempting to me right now to just, you know, if I actually had money to just pay someone to do it for me. Would mean I probably wouldn't be including many like notes in the descriptions, but I barely do that as it is anyway. So um, yeah, wouldn't be that big of a deal. 
Um, but yeah. But yeah, basically, long story short, I'm looking for a YouTube competitor because YouTube's, you know, cutting its wrists again. And it's making a mess. I'm kind of waiting for someone to be offended by that, but, you know, don't worry, I... Well, I've never done that myself, but... No, this is certainly drifting into a dark topic, ain't it? Ah, uh, that's probably just my state of mind. I'm thinking of YouTube being a pain in the ass, and suddenly, you know, it comes to self-harm. It's a natural progression. But, um... Hmm. Interesting design on the water wheel. Would that even be effect effective? I know I'm too used to seeing the uh, ones with the longer boards. Oh, yeah. Should probably be fine. No engineer, but yeah, it's probably fine. But, um. But yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm kind of getting tr trooped myself off my own momentum there with that comment. But, uh, yeah, basically, long story short, YouTube's having a, um, is ripping itself apart again, and it's just, I'm looking for a competitor to go to, but they're all still shit. <laughs> they're all still shit. And it's, you don't really have a choice. Don't, they, don't There's no real option. Um, it's more than a little frustrating. <sighs> hmm, I'm not seeing these summons names anymore. So maybe the one on top of the thing was... No, I think it was. Um... Ah, oh, Aorzi your time is 6 a.m. Hmm. Alright. So, where am I? Uh, let's head over to the auction house. But yeah, I'm just looking for a YouTube competitor to go to, and... there That's an actual, proper choice, but there's nothing. Even with how much YouTube's mutilating itself, there's just is in a choice. Something's happening, uh, one sec. Hey, folks, sorry, um, well, my Westie tried to kill herself. To phrase this more accurately, uh, Mum was trying to bring West the Westie upstairs. Westie has a bed in Mum's bedroom. It's a you know, little dog bed at the floor by Mum's bed. She sleeps there at night, uh, so Westie was on the lead going up, and she starts pulling and tugging on the lead, and Mum can't keep up. She's... Well, she's dodgy knees, but she's dodgy everything, really. Um, she's fibro and a really bad case of it. I'm hoping I never get quite so bad. But, uh, like, her knees fill with fluid. Um, actually, that might be a part of arthritis. I have no idea anymore. No. Uh, I ma made a joke before. It annoyed her at the time, but she came to embrace it later. You know, if she ever got shot, you know, it's a 50-50 chance it's just a fibro. But, um, she, um, the, yeah, Westy was pulling like a mad thing, and then he t toppled backwards down the stairs. So, I just had to go see if, I, uh, if you know, if everyone was okay. But yeah, I just got flustered there, because I was going to make a joke that's saying that, you know, it's okay for me to, you know, make that self-harming joke there. You know, I've done that myself, just not in that way. But yeah, I just got flustered, you know, making such a remark, because 
I was making such a remark. Um, often depiction, uh, I'm sure some people were probably puzzled. Often depictions of self-harming and whatnot is uh, with a blade. Yeah, I use my fists. It bogs myself in the face. So, fun times. And again, I suppose it's oversharing, but it's just a, uh, yeah. I like saying it, I guess. Um, it could be, who knows, it could be beneficial to someone, you know? Maybe someone else does the same thing and helps them accept that, yeah, I am actually so farming. Oh, who fucking knows, I'm pulling bogs out of my ass to, but, you know, posthumously justify saying it. Okay. Wait, do these... Sweet Jiminy Cricket. I am disgusted and appalled. Okay, apparently I'm gonna make it rich off selling cookies. Okay, I read that it's testosterone for a moment there. Um, I made way too much chicken stock. enough things so I could probably justify in um, not going for the cheapest price. Um, 77 then 3. Uh, oh, you get 6 apiece. Seven seven plus 300 divided by 3. I don't mind if this takes a while to sell. Well, I'm giving it a chance here, but I may... Uh, I can't desynthesize it. I may just vendor it in the end. Actually, I'd want to just sell it for, you know, whatever, like 12 gil rather than vendoring it, because I'd only get one. Hmm, nice sword. Also, in BFA, people were saying, like, ah, Bolvar is clearly going to come back, his daughter's in it, and I was saying Bolvar was going to come back since, uh, well, maybe not Kata, but some a little bit after I was thinking it. Because in Warcraft 3, you know, Lich King lost power because of a hole in his throne and an earthquake. A really powerful earthquake. In Kata, there's a hole in his throne and Deathwing escape, trying to escape from the planet, triggering earthquakes in Northrend. Therefore, Bolvar should be losing power because of it. 
Oh god, no! Okay, you know, I can't just fight putting up any more chicken stock. Fuck! Fuck! Having a terrible effect on me. Oh, it's high quality shite. There's the near ones. Okay, let's go to Southern Tanawa. Apparently there's now going to be Pandaren Death Knights and Allied Race Death Knights. Uh, wow, sorry. We're going to get to meet Uter and Keltas. Actually, I'm going to have to go back to WoW now. There is a um, 15th anniversary going on. And the 5th. Uh, Deadwing Mount. Have to, have to get it. Bigger, faster... Uh, sorry, harder, bigger, faster, stronger. Yes. You know, if those cookies actually sell, I'm going to be shocked. I've used it for experimentation, Imaji Battle, uh, Imaji uh, Beast Tamers, but I'm perfect a new breed of biologically and augmented drakes. Move to testing creatures in field. There's opportunity to slay the war creatures before they're taken back to the cages. Hmm, that one doesn't even get the dignity of having a name above it. Commander, these drakes, they fail us. Commander, these drakes, they fail us. Okay, he does if you get close enough. 
It's funny he's saying the you know commander they fail us when when um, a moment ago he was responding as if he was the commander. Or maybe no, that's how I took it. Eh, whatever. I think I just took it wrong. Brain did not compute it right. God, those are creepy. Just looking at what their eyes are. Probably need to kill two more. Mm. Turret is possible. No, all is good. Enough. We'll continue another day. I'm actually going to stop for a sec. Uh, why do I want to go home to Alda? Let's see. Folk here... The, the folk are too... Um, let's see. The folk are too rustic by half. There are more pastes than pie shops. And those men are proud just to stone throw away. Seems to me the Image have been unusually quiet of late. Wonder who we have to thank for that small miracle, hmm? Though the effects of your actions may not be immediately apparent, rest assured they are felt and appreciated long after you've moved on. Uh, ways northeast of here you'll find a sepulture. I'm, I'm probably not saying it right. Uh, a frightfully named place, no? Fitting, though, seeing as how it's best known as home to the villainous Corpse Brigade. To think that the erstwhile Kingsguard of Almejo could end up a band of murderers and thieves. Mind you, they had less than pristine reputation in the old days as well. I was raised in a wealthy family, uh, merchant family in Alda, where my parents saw that I wanted for nothing. Well, when I heard of the refugee's plight, I simply could not stay put. Outsider, shouted small child, the names they call me are all true. Still, I would want to help them in whatever small way I can. So, BRB, just stopping for a moment. Really hoping something sells. Hey, folks, and I'm back. Alright, let's continue. Ooh, there's another one just outside. Brilliant. We'll go, uh, fuck these up. Or, oh, never mind. No way I'll get that done in time. Uh, the corpse bride? Uh, bribe. Apologies. Uh. Then again, some people will probably need one hell of a bribe to marry a, uh, corpse. Bridal wearer or not. <laughs> of course, my mind immediately jumps to a corpse saying, Welcome home, dear. Would you like dinner, a bath, or me? <sighs> I had to stop my, uh, uh, the recording there while it was, it was paused. Uh, just make sure it's indeed started again. Uh, yeah, all was good, all was good. I was just fostered thinking, uh, you know, maybe I was a little much in the talk back in Gardenia. I'll be vague here in case I do edit it. 
Uh, once an arm of the proud Almayan army, the Corpse Brigade has devolved into band uh, band of bandits and petty thieves, albeit well-trained ones. Several former soldiers earned their keep by setting up illegal roadblocks and demanding coin for passage. Should occurs that the Sultana will not allow such acts under her rule. Uh, heavens would like to beg to differ. Slit open your purse, like. Oh, cut it for you. They want to see Drom slit, huh? Interesting. These Lancer opponents always have, uh, love to do the, you know, um... Heartstopper. Never effective, but goddamn, do they love doing it. Gathering spot. I'm rather actually more I was talking about more I kept thinking. No, I'm kind of interested in the upcoming expansion. But uh, to wow, but I'm really not sure right now. What I think of it. Burnt out as hell on BFA as it stands, so it kind of makes it hard for me to get excited about anything else. Huh. Wish I knew what the hell mount that was. Damn it. That appearing over there threw me off. I thought I got an Athma. I should swing over to this dungeon and say hi, so at least I have, um, hard mode unlocked. Welcome to Stately Runes that was and is the Sunken Temple Karn. What a relief they actually send someone who's been here and knows the drill. The twins, they can be a little overbearing. They'll need some of that imp imperiousness soon enough, though, when it f falls on them to run the concern. In case you didn't know, those two are the chairman's progeny, them and Miss Nineco. Uh, Nineco. Uh, you'll find it uh, much changed within, thanks to those fool robbers. Take care, but not so much that you can have my case. Should go do the marks. I really should, and I really should go do the um, these. <sighs> hmm. I'm not quite high enough level for them to be non-aggressive to me. In um, Level or two, that'll be the case. It feels really weird to me, the idea of, like, you know, um, like, yes, I do have AoE. Remember, I was saying that the, the um, in the upcoming expansion, there's. 
you like choose what expansion you want to do, level through, and you go there. That feels really weird to me. Because if you, you know, that's not how it was originally done. So it just feels so strange, you know? You know, in uh, Shadowlands. The WoW, in the upcoming WoW expansion, 1 to 50, you decide what expansion you want to level through, then you. From, uh, that will get you almost, most way to 50, if not 50 itself, and then you go to the Shadowlands expansion. That just feels so weird to me and wrong. It's also going to be awkward for me to manage with my characters, a fair few of them already at 50. Uh, I presume they'll be downscaled a bit. And just. They'll probably just end up being like ga um, Drom here. How he's, you know, a little over leveled for Heaven's Word already. Level wise, he's over halfway through. Or, he's halfway through. But halfway through that level. Hmm. Jive talk up here. Um, might be able to get it done. Like only the one guy aggroed on me as I was running through, and I practically like ran through one guy. It's funny they um, they're just too used to me. <laughs> 